Well, I am waiting for Joe to get dressed. He's got games this morning. Um, and I totally forgot we're vlogging this morning and I turned the washer on. So can't wait for him to realize I just did that again. We have something to talk about. Hey, what's up, family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, Two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. Ketos. And if you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things, like recipe videos, and we do product reviews. We talk about various keto topics. And then every Monday, when we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch, we just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com, and that's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon, and that way every single time we upload a new video or Rachel turns the laundry on before we start a vlog, you'll be alerted to it. Oh, well I wasn't even going to talk about Rachel turning the water on oh. before we start a vlog. Okay. I was going to talk about the fact that we live in a house that was built in 1976 that has terrible water pressure, and Rachel turned the water on while I was in the shower. It was right the tail end of your shower. And Anthony's and taking Anthony a full shower. And then Anthony jumps in the shower. So of course, for some reason, our shower is the one that gets affected. Right. Anthony's shower, the you can outside. turn the hose on, doesn't matter. They get great water pressure. Our shower, you flush the toilet. You're and done. I can't finish my shower. It's like you're, you're you can't, it, there's not enough pressure to get the shampoo out of my hair. Yeah, you washed my hat. Thank you so much. I did. It wasn't green anymore. It was white. It was white with salt. <laughs> Speaking of hats, why do you have your sticker on this hat? What? Oh, new hat. It's white. You know how hard it is to keep a white hat white? Do you know how many people four games? would notice you have that sticker on? Oh, Anthony would have noticed as soon as we got in the car. Uh, we're going to vlog today. Jim figured that out. It's Saturday. We're, we have so much to do this weekend. We have so much to do. I have to finish editing a bunch of videos. We have to film cute on the couch. I have four football games today. And uh, let's see, what else do we need to do? I need to finish like figuring out stuff. I have to edit videos. Um, we're leaving for Kentucky in just two days, right? So we have a lot to do. We have a lot to do, what but is that? that's a zip fizz for you. Are you seriously going to make me go to a football field with a peach... The zip fizz container? Hey, you are cool enough to wear pink. Yo. Mm -hmm. you're, you're too, oh, you don't think so? I don't think so. Okay. Well, I have a lot of stuff to do, but here's the thing. I know I'm going to go for a while without seeing my mom or my sister. Mm -hmm. And so we decided we're going to make it work this morning and go have coffee together on my mom's deck at 7 30 this morning well that's good yeah sometimes you just have to make it work that's, it was worth getting up early that is worth getting up early like family time is really really important plus my mom makes really great coffee on the stove her coffee is the most delicious oh that's good baby you did a good job i can shake it so <laughs> we're not even going there <laughs> uh, so i'm starting off the day with a zip fizz uh we got a cool recipe for today's video yeah um I've got four games. Finally, we have some morning games. I'm so tired of afternoon games, which result in lots of lightning delays. But you got little babies that that you're officiating. We're doing six-year-olds. Why are they having six-year-olds play football? I don't understand well, that. Well, maybe they'll learn all the rules. Full, I'm fine with six-year-olds be the way it used to be like modified. Like 50% of the field, no score. Let's just introduce it was kind of like when the kids oh, now played it's a score? two ball junior. Now somebody has this to This year they decided they're gonna play hundred yard field and we want you to enforce every penalty. I'm like, are you kidding me? When we put the ball down, twenty two kids run from all over the place to try to jump on it. Wait, I they don't understand stop at the whistle. I'm gonna tell you right now who who went with this. This was this was pressure from parents to be like, after the game, they're out cold. 
It's like nap time. Probably. So like, yeah. The white hat is blowing out this frame. I'm all about it. Well, my thing is, is the parents of the six-year-old games are ten times worse than the parents of a high school game. They think their kids are playing. All the, the Super children Bowl. are. All the children could be going to the NFL. It's yeah, it, it's really bad. I got an entire bag of new real lights in my truck. I go through four of these every Saturday that I have games. That's kind of good to put that in perspective because people are always asking like, how many do you need? And it's kind of like- Whatever you need for the whatever day. Whatever you need. So, and here's, I mean, we have a discount code down below for the Relights. Um, we really like Relight. I'm excited they, they've reduced this, how much is in a serving. So it does reduce it from like, say a thousand milligrams of sodium to like 840. This is still the old ones, but these are really good. The old batch is good for these big things. So it was like 20 or 24 ounces right. of water. They're new. You get more servings in a tub, but a serving size is smaller. Is now for 16 ounces of water. But it's going to be great for the games because yeah. what do they hand us? They hand us 16 ounce bottles of water. Right, like a water bottle and you can just put it right in but there. But it's really, really important to stay hydrated. So what after coffee, what's on your plan for today? What's on your agenda? My, I need to review kids ministry before okay. it goes out tonight. Mm -hmm. And uh, I need to answer comments. And then we've got keto on the couch. We got keto on the couch. I'm still on the look for sneakers. Yeah, I found my sneakers. I'm wondering if I'm wearing I... them right now. Those These are, are really cool. comfortable. They're not supposed to have white on them, but you know what? Everybody else does it. Talk so... about a noun scale victory. Could you ever do this with your leg before? Oh no. Well, that's I didn't even think about that. But these are really cool. This is like super cushiony, and no laces. I'm getting it old. Twists. It's got a twist what will they come out with next it, it kind of reminds you of the ones from back to the future the pump the self-lacing ones well that just reminds me of the like the pump it up ones oh yeah the Nikes. but anthony likes those self-lacing ones which you actually can get but they're like 300 bucks uh oh before we go i did want to mention for drones we had that other vlog that came out with all the drone footage of me cutting grass let us know down in the comment section. Do you like it when we put like drone footage or maybe some footage of us riding our bicycles? Do you guys like seeing that stuff or should we not bother? Be like, I don't want to see Because it was like an hour and a half of drone footage to narrow down to like two minutes. So, but I'm curious. I love doing it. I like seeing it. But I'm curious, it, do you guys like seeing it? But maybe seeing other people it? don't. She likes seeing it. I do. We have the hardest water. That's why we own a Berkey. We own a Berkey Seriously? because you don't want to drink the water here in South Florida. And we dumbly have a house that has an all, all glass, glass shower door. enclosure. And it is impossible to keep it clean. It's impossible, impossible to keep it clean. And we're busy, so sometimes you can't wipe it down the every shower day. The shower-to-shower stuff, the stuff you're supposed to spray between showers, does nothing. And we tried CLR, which didn't really work, and really smells. It, yeah. it smells really bad. So we were like, what are we going to do? I bought one of those little steamer things. It sort of worked, but it's a lot of glass to try to it's get like all of this stuff off. It's like the first layer. So not sponsored or anything. No. I was just, I went on Go on Amazon, Google. I went on Amazon and I was like, hard water remover for shower doors. And I found this stuff. It's funny. I even bought spray bottles because I'm like, it comes like this. And I'm like, you're going to need to put it in a spray bottle. Nope. It comes like this, but it's like a wax almost. You put it on a little rag, you rub it on, and then you immediately like almost like buff it off. It works. We did the same thing that's on this. So it's like a mom with a child behind the glass. Yeah. Revealing like, oh, there's a kid back there. Yeah. So I went in the shower and he wiped it off. And yeah, it was like, oh, there's- It really works. There's I'm Rachel excited. in the I'm, shower. I'm really excited. So if you have like hard water stain problems, Definitely try this out. It's supposed to keep the hard water off for like up to two years. Uh, but they're saying for three, it says for up to two years here, but then over here it says for three months and it's biodegradable. It's non-toxic. They have a money back guarantee. It's called bio-cleanproducts.com. I'll leave a link for it down below. We were amazed. It was a bit expensive. It was like, I want to say it was like $19 for this big jar, which when it was a spray, I was like, that's really expensive. Now knowing it's almost like a wax it, and it went a long Makes way, a little better. but I got, they, because of me, even without trying, I'm like, I still want value. So they had a two battle, uh, bottle pop. They had a two bottle pack. <laughs> 
that was uh, like $22. So for like just four or five dollars more, you got it's a second two. bottle. Well, so. we know we're going to want to clean it twice. So let us know. Do you have hard water problems and things like that? I don't think anybody has it as terrible as ours. So I heard Anthony is getting out of the shower. That means we have to go. We have a 30 minute ride. Hopefully we don't eject anybody. I have a four minute walk. So you're going around the corner. We're going to eat lunch when we get home. We're going to eat dinner. We gotta start figuring out our menu for beef, butter, bacon, and eggs. So Give us some that. ideas. We want some odd things. Obviously, it's gotta be beef, butter, and bacon, egg. Help Can't us have get creative. cream and cheese and stuff like that in a recipe, but help us get creative. And 99% of the food's gotta be cooked outside because I don't like cooking inside. Yeah. So I wanted to show you something that I got at the thrift store yesterday. It was so cool. I was looking for some fall plates because we have a lot of recipes coming out and I want them to look pretty. Our, our pictures never look pretty. So I got a bunch of different colored, I feel like fall friendly plates. Your local thrift store has tons of stuff. I mean, these are the Pioneer Women dishes. I love her stuff, oh my goodness. And purple, but there was just lots of pretty plates over at the thrift store. I paid 50 cents a piece for them, and I was really impressed. Roscoe, there's a whole bowl of food there. You're acting like, oh my gosh, I need to eat. Look at you. Just go smack Charity out of the way and say, it's my turn. All he's gonna do with the water is knock it on the floor. See, he didn't want water, he wants food, but Charity's in the way. Let's see who smacks who. It is a proud moment to watch your son, who started officiating at 16, take the referee position for a game. Oh my gracious, look how nasty my back seat is. I need a detailing so badly, but uh, Joe is at a game and I thought that I would get him a fun new gadget for the kitchen while he's out, just kind of surprise him with it. It's the Ninja Creamy. I got it at Bed Bath & Beyond. It was uh, $1.99, but I used a coupon and got $40 off because they still do the 20% off coupons. So I can't wait to see what he thinks. So it's halftime of our third game of the day. And uh, like I was saying, you know, it is a proud moment to watch your son who started officiating at the age of 16. That's when he started high school football. And to just watch him develop and come to me and say like, hey, can I referee a game? And he's doing a really, really good job. I'm like super proud of him. His signals are super clear. He knows the rules. The only thing he really needs to learn is how to address a coach because again, he's 21 years old and a lot of these coaches are double his age. So he needs to learn how to have composure, but still control the game. Well, that was a long day. Somehow the last game took forever. The, the first set of games was like really quick. We were like maybe 10 minutes behind for the day, but that last game, I think it took an hour more than it was supposed to. So it's three o'clock right now. We're on our way home. We're supposed to film Keto on the couch, but I'm gonna see if Rachel will do it tomorrow after church. So I drank all my waters. So we stopped at Wawa to get a drink. They only have paper straws. I hate paper straws. Let us know down in the comment section. Paper or plastic straws? Okay, Joe and Anthony just pulled in from their games and I have the ice cream maker waiting at the front door. I can't wait to see what he thinks. It is impossible to surprise this man. Hey, what's up guys? Hello. Hello. Hi baby. Surprise! I got you something. It's a gadget that you don't have yet, and if I wait until Christmas, I will not be able to surprise wait a second, you. Wait, you're giving me something that's not Christmas. This is not Rachel. Merry, like, who are you? Merry Christmas I saw for the these future. On, this thing looks cool. Like it's another ice cream gadget, right? Every gadget's a good gadget, right? Ooh, thanks, baby. Can I have a hug? No. I've only been on the field for like eight no, hours. No. Okay, I gotta finish pulling comments for Keto on the Couch. Look at the cat. He's like, so uh, dirty. what are you doing? I really want to, I, oh, now we woke up the other the one. Jello jiggler. Jealous. Oh my gosh, is she jealous. Okay, I really want some bread. Okay. So I have a job for you. All right. You and you alone. Me. Are gonna make some protein bread, or at least start it. So I need you to separate the egg whites. Do you know how to separate egg whites? I do. Okay, I need a dozen egg whites, but okay. we gotta make sure we don't get any yolks in there. 
So put the egg whites in one bowl and then the yolks in the other bowl and then we can feed the yolks to all the animals. All yolking aside, I'm very excited about this. Okay, you ready? I'm so ready. Okay, so I'm just kind of telling you what to do because you don't have the recipe in front of you. I mean, I'm still pulling comments. Go ahead and dump your egg whites in there. Yeah. And you can go ahead and start it on low and then move it up to high. I don't think you've ever used the kitchen, have you? I've always like enjoyed having it on my counter because it's pretty, but no, Joe uses it. Okay, turn it all the way up because we're gonna we're gonna get these things to really whip up. Now we're gonna go ahead and add in the cream of tartar. So just throw the cream of tartar in. And then we're gonna use just a little bit of allulose. The recipe calls for a quarter of a cup. We're just using like a half a tablespoon just softens the crust a little bit. And we're gonna try it with a little bit of nutritional yeast. For cheesy flavor? For cheesy flavor. And that just went everywhere. And then just grab the Redmond out of the container, out of the cabinet, and just, I don't know, quarter teaspoon, half teaspoon, give it a nice little dump in there. I don't wanna use kosher salt, I wanna use the fine, so. Just give it like a nice little, yeah. That's good. Okay, just let that keep going and it's gonna like double inside. Like it's gonna get all the way up to the top. It usually takes about three or four minutes. Yeah. Why? <laughs> okay, go ahead and turn it off. Okay. Turn it off. Okay, now you're gonna put your egg white protein in there. So it's a cup. Just go ahead, it's right there. Go. Just go ahead and dump that in. Usually I turn it on slow, otherwise you're gonna you're gonna put this up here. Otherwise, you're gonna have a poof. You're gonna have a big poof. I'm trying to do this with one hand. I can't do it. <laughs> I'll hold it and you. There you go. On. Okay. Is that on? Go ahead and turn it on low. Now, now you can start moving it up. Like full speed. Yeah, full speed. Get it all mixed, and then we're done. Okay. <laughs> Just let it mix for a second, and then we'll move on to the next step. Now we're gonna take that, and you said you wanted loaves, right? I do, because I wanna share some with my mama. Okay, so you can either use this loaf pan, or you could just kinda of do it like on the pan. So we're gonna do it with the loaf pan. So we tried it with five, the loaves were a little bit too small, so we're gonna try it with three. I, I think it, it may be four, make sure you spray it really well, otherwise it's all gonna stick. So we're just gonna kind of divide it equally into three loaves. And remember, it's going to get huge. So that's gonna be the key. Make sure you divide it equally. Okay. Look at how much it, it fluffs up. You that know? is floofy. Maria Emmerich says the thing that people screw up the most with it is they don't let it get fluffy enough, but. Cause it gets too scary. Yeah, so let it go. This, this is like five minutes. Okay, we're gonna get a thing. We'll start in the back. Joe's gonna do it because I'm too scared. What are you scared about? I'm scared I'm gonna just get it everywhere. Well, so am I, but that's a side. But then it's point. not my fault. <laughs> so you're gonna do every other one. We're gonna do every other one. It's probably easier to just not use a mold, but. I like the mold. This looks like It's like hairs. art. Looks like hair mousse. Do you remember playing with shaving cream? Yes, I do. That's that's what I feel like I'm doing right now. It's got like the texture of shaving cream. I don't need to remember it because I still do it often. <laughs> I may or may not have made a Santa beard on my face while shaving my legs today. This looks like a sci-fi movie villain. Like it's gonna overflow the oven. Well, here's the thing. We have the, the two oven, and I did this one time in the top. Oh, wow. And it hit the root because that's a much smaller oven, so we got to put it in the bottom one. Okay, we're going to put this in the oven, down on the bottom, and remember, this isn't our recipe. This is Maria Emmerich's recipe. We're not even making any modifications other than the one that she said where I can use less allulose. If you want to learn how to do this, go check out Maria's video. She's got all the recipe. It's completely free. Link right up here. Yo, dude, what? it is 5.30. What are you doing? I thought we were gonna tape keto on the couch. We are, but I haven't eaten yet, and it's 5.30. Making some meatballs because we had two packages of ground beef. We had a whole bunch of mushrooms, which I hate, by the way. <laughs> and uh, I don't want them to them. go bad because we're leaving in two days. So I figured why not make some more of the meatballs because now I have the grated Parmesan cheese and I think there's gonna be a difference. 
So I figured we can get them cooking while we're filming keto on the couch. Plus we have the bread. So that would be like really good. Meatball subs again. I like that idea. Here's the meatballs. Ooh, they look yummy. Oh, those look so good. I of course, we're gonna put a little bit of tomato sauce on top. I totally wanna to drink what it is. Oh, we're gonna pour that in. over the top of the bread. And here's the bread. Oh, those came out good. Those are nice. One loaf for mommy. Okay, so you get the biggest one. I think that seems fair. Okay. So take one down to mom. Okay. Those will cook. And no kidding. I want to review these. That could be part of dinner. Okay. So I'm gone for literally two seconds to run the bread down to my mom. And you've already got this out. And shenanigans are happening. You always sound like a kid in a candy store when it comes to presents. I just got new shoes. And Rachel's like, you cannot wear those until keto pollution. I up. want to eat. It's still cooking. Well, here's the thing. I've already been watching videos because, little secret, I wanted to buy one of these, but I figured you were going to say no. Aww. <laughs> so thank you for that. See, I'm not an ogre. But here's the thing is you need to, like, put the stuff in here and let it freeze like, like a rock. So I want to be able to use this. So I wanted to get something going. But here's the cool thing is, because now that you got me this, this is going to be a two-day vlog. Because we got to see in this video, does it how work? does it work? But I, I'm really cool. I thought that it only came with one of these cups, but it came with three. I, as soon as like you left, I ran on the website and bought six more of these because I want to have a bunch of stuff ready to go. But I got a keto chow. We're Wash gonna... that out before um... you put the keto chow in it. Okay, so we're gonna wash this out and then we're gonna put a keto chow in here and then we can make ice cream with it tomorrow or a milkshake or something. And I got a really good flavor for you to try here. Why are you wearing that? Because as soon as we are done eating, we're going in the hot tub. Haven't I been outside long enough? Well, I mean, this is in water. So you, well, I mean, I guess it's hot. It's still hot. Well, you know what? Chance to spend some time with you. Let's well, eat. Yes. Okay, here's what we got. We've got, each of us have like three and a half of the Maria Emmerich meatballs. Only, again, we made this one a little bit different than the last time. This time I actually used grated Parmesan. Last time we used shredded Parmesan. So I think they're going to be a little bit different. Think it? Mmm. Very good. I like it better. Mm-hmm. The difference was that Parmesan cheese. We just got jalapeno poppers. We just did a review of the sausage, so we got some of that sausage. Yep. I have a little bit of tomato sauce in mine. It's the tomato sauce I found at Costco. Rachel. I have some sensitivity to tomato. Yep. Tears up my mouth a little you bit. You want it. I do want it. I love it. But yeah, it sometimes her tongue me. gets tingly. Then we each have a half a loaf. So that loaf, that mixture made three of those. So this is a third of the whole recipe then divided into two. Okay. On one of them, we have all of the drippings that were left in the pan for making the meatballs. So all of the fat, some of the Parmesan cheese that has oozed out. We're not losing anything. We have all of that on one of them, which I want to try. I'm all about it. Mm-hmm. I knew it would be awesome. I'm not going to complain about that at all. On the other half, we have some of that cream cheese spread with the onion that we made in the other vlog the other day. Link for that one up over Rachel's so head. Good. Well, are you going to try that or no? Oh, I'm, you're going to put meat on it? I'm going to put meat on my meatballs with it. Well, I'm going to try it with just... Perfect. It's good. Delicious. Okay, so my opinion, the recipe gives you three nice loaves. Like, I wouldn't... Five is... They're too small. Mm -hmm. And I feel like four is going to be too small. So three, maybe even two, but you couldn't do two in the low pan. If you're going to use the low pan... Right. Do three. I'll leave a link for the low pen that we purchased down below. There's lots of them out there. Which is the first one I found on Amazon. We're going to eat. We're going to go in the hot tub. We'll finish this vlog up tomorrow after church. We got a recipe that you want to make. I do. And then we're going to try our first batch of stuff in that ninja. Ninja? Ninja creamy. Ninjago. What? It's hot. It's 74 degrees. Maybe it's because I have a sweater on. That that's probably a sweater. 
But when it's been like 95 degrees outside in the morning, probably not the greatest idea in the world. But we should uh, talk about the kids' hallway is the first place that the air conditioning lands mm -hmm. in the system. So the kids' hallway is always like the North Pole. Yeah, but they're bedrooms because they want to keep their door closed. Did you do the pop? <laughs> I did do the pop. It was even open. All you had to do was take a drink out of it. Clearly, that was too much. It was too much. Too much to do. I'm sorry. Oh, look. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I know. You want me to feed you because you're a stouffer and like food is super important to food you. Food is super important. Don't get between this girl and her food. But I'm already running late. Yeah. So I'm jumping in the car. Oh my gosh. I salted your food. Thank you for that. <laughs> oh wait, there's one more. Where is it? Oh, there's two of them. Can we, two in one shot. Can you do it? Yes, you oh, can. Oh, I got them both. Good job. Good job. This thing, oh, oh where did they all come from? Oh, it's because I was doing the chicken coop. Oh. Oh. I bet that came out in the sound. Oh, that sounded really good, I'm sure, on the microphone because I hit the microphone. This thing is the greatest thing for killing flies. We protect ourselves. It is lunch slash dinner time. We're probably going to eat a little something later, but I for feel the most like part, this is everything. We are in the Incredibles when it's like leftovers night because this is just a hodgepodge of everything that needs to be cleaned out of the refrigerator before we go on a trip, what night is leftovers night at your house? That's what I want to know. We don't really have a leftover night, but today is it's clean out the refrigerator clean out day. The house. We have a little bit of lunch meat left for tomorrow, but uh, we had some Maria Emmerich meatballs left. Uh, I only had a little bit of lettuce left, so Rachel's got that. I've got no lettuce. I've got a bunch of lunch meat, some of the peppers that we make. I'm almost we're done with the peppers. So we have no more peppers left. We won't have to any lunch meat after tomorrow. Oh well, not uh, till after. Not till nope. That's why it's it's not just clean out the refrigerator because we're going away. It's clean out the refrigerator because we're only going to be on beef, butter, bacon, and eggs. So ate up that, using up the rest of the jalapenos. We each got this. I made these a little different. I mixed cheddar cheese into the cream cheese. That doesn't make me unhappy. And then we have a piece of Maria Emmerich's bread because. I'm working on a recipe, and if it works, please let it work. I'm so excited. I'm about going it. to be so excited for this. So I had to make some Maria Emmerich bread today because I'm going to be excited for this because this there. was one of my absolute favorite desserts pre keto. I know, absolutely loved it. I did make us. Ooh, there's a fly. I did make us some of the egg white pudding. It's got to firm up a little. And uh, no, it's it's. Oh no, I'm. This one is good. Wow. But well, let's. Egg white with uh, sucralose. Sucru 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 mm -hmm. You can eat the entire thing here. This this could be yours for just, uh, I think it's like, what is it, 10 total carbs? But if you take out the fiber, it's like four. And that's including the eggs. Oh my gosh. Uh, it's only like 300 calories. But... We're gonna try, we made a keto chow. We're gonna try some keto chow dessert mm -hmm. and the Ninja Creamy later. But I was thinking about this. Let's, you think I made two batches of this, one just for this. To see if it does something in so the So now you won't be able to eat this till tomorrow right. because you gotta freeze it solid. But let's make a batch of the Maria Emmerich egg pudding. That makes me very happy. In the Ninja Creamy. So we'll put this in the freezer and then we'll make that tomorrow. What do you think? I think it's awesome and I needed something to smile at because right now our cat Roscoe and I are in a bitter dispute. Ooh, a little bit left. A very bitter dispute. What are you in a dispute We're not over? speaking right now because whenever he is dissatisfied with a situation, like maybe I didn't top off his, his cat food. You know, maybe Spiteful. I didn't. Maybe I didn't let him sleep on my pillow. Maybe I m moved him over. He pees underneath the litter box to get me back. He is spiteful. I'm not speaking with him. I'm starting to agree with Pastor. Maybe we should just stick with dogs. No, let's not get crazy. I <laughs> I love cats. I just want him to act right. I do you have cats? Are you a cat person or a dog person? We like them both. 
But I do find that cats are more spiteful, spiteful. than dogs. I definitely think they're more spiteful. You Tabitha so? never tries to spite us. No, no. Okay, we're gonna eat, and then I'm gonna put this in the freezer, and then later on we're gonna try the keto chow in the creamy. It's been freezing. I also made another recipe using keto, uh, keto chow, but it's got like all kinds of ingredients in there. So I'm excited about that one all as right. well. Oh, by the way, this is that, that cream cheese dip that we make with the cream cheese and the sour cream. And it tastes really good on the bread. Mmm. Oh, God. So Rachel is previewing keto on the couch. And I am going to start curing a bacon when we get back for the beef and butter bacon and egg chow. So we've got a nice giant pork belly here. And uh, I'm just going to put the cure on it. Now, if you are curious on how to do this, we have a video, I'll leave a link right up there. So, this is about a 12 pound pork belly. I'm gonna grab a better knife. Now, what I like to do is on the, the fat side, I like to, this needs to be sharpened, but I like to uh, add some slits in here to get some of the cure in there. This one should work. There we go. So yeah, I'm just gonna put some slits in the back. First of all, it looks pretty, but allows me to get some of the cure down into the meat. Let me do this one and this one. And I just got my cure here. I'm gonna put, mix it up really good, but I'm gonna mix it up over the bacon or over the pork belly, just in case I lose any. I'm gonna put about half on the one side and then rub it in and then do the rest on the other side. What are you doing? Uh, making bacon. I'm making bacon. Or, or we're gonna cure the bacon so that by the time we get home from Kentucky, it'll be ready for this us. This'll be ready to smoke. Uh-huh. And uh, it'll go on our, I think we're gonna even try it on our new grill. I mean, I don't know. We might actually do it on the old one, but try it in the smoke box at like a lower temperature. Ooh, I'm excited. But this looks good. You know what we need? We need a couple of Ziploc bags. I can do that. And we can go ahead and do this. Okay, so this is gonna go in the refrigerator. Uh, we say seven to 14 days. Generally a week is plenty for me, but I'll take a look at the cure when I get home. And the biggest thing is I have to remind the kids to do me a favor and keep flipping it every couple of days but we're gonna be gone for like 10 days. So it should be perfectly ready to smoke when we get home. Are we gonna do this? It has been a delicious day thus oh, yeah. far. We have, we have a story to tell you, but this takes a minute or so. So should we go ahead and plug this in? I don't know what I'm doing. I wanna show you the beautiful dessert that we made. Bread pudding is back, baby. And um, unfortunately though, we taped the entire recipe for this and the uh, record button was not pushed. That's so, my fault. So uh, we've got to make it all over again. Only the prep time to make this. You gotta wait like four, to, four hours to overnight to let it soak up. So yeah. we were hoping we were gonna get that video done. We're gonna try to get it done before we leave. And before we release this vlog. I just unplugged that, hold on. What are you doing? Peeling off the sticker. Oh, okay. So I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, good. So I know we, we undo that. Okay. And I don't know where this goes. We got bowl installation. We don't want to read the directions. Why would we do that? And then... That's silly. I don't know. Maybe like that. Like this is going to go up here, I assume. You, you know what I happens when look, we assume? I should probably look at the instructions. I. But I don't want to. Uh, okay, so I think this goes up here. I would really like you to go read and the instructions. And then this goes in here. Do I need to look at the instructions? I would love it if you did. We're gonna oh, pause. Oh look, it, it's working. We're gonna pause. No, I got it. While Joe checks to make sure he's not about to break this. Okay. Oh, paddle latch. That would help. Oh. That would totally help. Okay. 
Okay. We got it. Now we're cooking with now Crisco. Now we put this in here. And I guess you got to center it in right. Oh, okay. Ooh. On. We want ice cream, sorbet, light ice cream. So we're going to just go ice cream? Yeah, ice cream. I think it takes like a minute and a half. For real? Yeah. Wow. It's like a vitamin. I think it's almost done. Look, see the light? I can't tell if it's counting down or counting up. I don't know. It's kind of cool though. Thanks I, for this. I like that there's a mix-in feature. So if you wanted to add some like Lily's chocolate chips or something, you could mix it in. Is it done? It's done. Okay. Okay. If not adding mix-ins, respin can use for a crumbly. Yeah, that's kind of crumbly, so we should spin it a little bit more. Wow. Oh, don't taste that. Too late. Don't tell anybody what it is. Joe! Well, I told you not to taste that. Okay. Joe. Technical difficulties. We didn't know that the paddle comes out of the top of the end of it. So now we're going to hit respin. It doesn't have the clearest direction. It doesn't. Okay, we remixed it again. We had a little bit of technical issues. We didn't know that the paddle like drops down after the mix that you have to put it back up. It has pictures, but not super clear directions. Not super clear directions. So I did see somebody in our Facebook group said that, I think it was Debbie, you can get this on QVC and it came with a couple of extra bowls. I'll oh, see this time it didn't drop down. Okay, nice. Okay, um, but it was like a pre-order. You got this at Bath and, Bed Bath & Beyond, right? I got this at Bed Bath & Beyond for $1.99, but then I used a 20% off coupon. So I think it was like, what, out the door, $1.70, something like that. It does look like it could use another remix, because it does say that like if it's powdery, mm -hmm. to do a couple of remixes. So All let's right. go ahead and do one, one more, more remix. Okay, ready? Yes. Okay, let's let's try this. Hey, you never know what you're gonna, oh, there we go. That looks way better. You never know what you're gonna get with two crazy ketos. We literally have no idea how to use this thing. No. So. But oh, yes. Look at the, oh my. What? Oh my gosh. That is nice. Okay, Rachel, I love you. Yes. Cause you bought this for me. I'm glad that I got and, it. Okay, we meant, so this is keto chow. One keto chow. One keto chow. You and oh, these bowls are too small. But you use butter. I, this is with um, three tablespoons of butter. Which we normally you cannot you can't put it in a regular. You can't put it into. It doesn't. You. I have a recipe on how to do it, but it's a pain to make it in the Vitamix. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh! Look at. There's still more in here. I'll I'll use that later. You're gonna use that later. Except for the flavor you picked. You don't trust me at all, do you? These bowls are too small, but that's okay. That's all right. It makes it look like I'm getting a gigantic amount. But this is this whole thing is one serving. Yes, this is root beer. Root beer. But let's see what you've been clamoring about. What weirds you out is that Zevia has no color to it. Yeah. So you're expecting like you're gonna root have beer to color. eat a little bit. I'll, I'll, you can have the bigger bowl, but okay. Let me try it with your creamy root beer. Oh my god. Wow. What a great consistency. Wow. I'm selling our ice cream maker. This is better than the ice cream. The only problem this like, was and fast. I can say that. Yeah, but with the ice cream maker, you can pour it in there and in 30 minutes. This you have to you, you have, have to freeze, freeze it, it overnight. Yeah. Sometimes you need like immediate keto chow ice cream. And you're not gonna want to have to freeze it overnight. This is good. This is very good. I'm gonna give it to you. The creamy root beer, like it's a perfect root beer float. And then what happens is that ice cream, that soda, gives it an ice on the outside. This consistency that this ninja accomplishes, we were a little bit like, was this a bad purchase? Because we didn't know what we were doing. It took a minute for us to figure out how to use it. But no, this is counter worthy. It is worthy of space on the counter. This is good. I'm very I mean, impressed. And again, with the butter. I, 
the fact that we can use butter makes me really happy because we our tummies don't do great we don't with do heavy well with whipping heavy cream. cream. And so when we want to make the regular one, we make it with heavy whipping cream. In the blender, we're usually using heavy whipping cream or the Maple Hill Zero Sugar. Mm -hmm. um, we'll get it with butter, but the butter gives you like a waxy thing on your tongue. And you just have a pint of ice cream on your hands all of a sudden. That is really good. Oh, that's good. And there's more. There's more. But that wait, is, there's we, more. When we first looked at this, we're like, I feel like we got a lot more, but when you start scooping it out, it makes a lot. It makes a lot. Because I thought, did we lose some of our keto chow? Because it seems like we get a big giant bowl in the Vitamix, but. Good. This is good. I ordered six more bowls. That is a smart move. Because I figure what we can do, if you have six, that means we have nine bowls. Mm -hmm. Which means you can just make a bunch of keto chows or frozen coffees. Or we have Maria Emmerich's pudding in there. We're going to try that tomorrow. And then you just keep them frozen. And then when you're and ready. And then when you're ready to go. Turn them in. Then something. you really, the, the other ice cream maker, you don't need it as much. So long as you have it pre-made in the freezer. And you're used to pre-making keto chow anyway. Except for instead of pouring it into a blender bottle, you're pouring it into this thing. Okay. We gotta put this to the side. This thing is awesome. It, I know it's expensive. Does this console you that we have to remake the entire bread I can't pudding believe I forgot recipe. to turn that on. I just you know, can't believe I You know, sometimes it just happens like that. Are we going to try that? Yeah, you want to try it? Because it's really good. I mean, we've tried it on the video. <laughs> now people won't see our first reaction. It came out so good. It's so good. Okay, I want the ice cream. Yeah, I do too. I mean, but this is delicious. Um, that's going to be today's vlog or this two day vlog. This is a lot of dessert. We have another recipe. This, the, the bread pudding recipe was going to be in this video. Yep. Now it's going to be its own video. Yeah, will we? Because we're going to have to remake the whole thing. And we got to try to do it before we leave for Kentucky. Otherwise, everybody's going to have to wait six weeks for it. And I don't want anybody to wait six weeks for that. No, I don't either. I, I'm, as much as I'm enjoying this machine, mm -hmm. I'm kind of bummed. We got it, and then you can't got it. it for. Can we take this Kentucky in the car? I feel like it's worth a shot. Why not? That's amazing. This, I mean, but yeah, we got it. We won't be able. To, well, you know, wait, wait, wait. If we're allowed to have coffee, mm -hmm. take coffee, oh. blend it with butter, okay, or an egg and a, a a hamburger, and put no, and then put that in here. And you could make a coffee ice cream. It, it probably won't be sweet. Won't be sweet, in, though. Unless Dr. Berry says you can have Stevie with your coffee, which we, I'm going to ask him when we see him. You really But at minimum, crossed. you could make a frozen frappuccino kind of thing. Like, you always were taking your coffee and sticking it in there anywhere and scooping it. Now you can have it nice. When you had that, the, not milk, but butter or mm -hmm. an egg. Here's the thing. And that's beef, butter, egg. I probably will go without coffee during the 25 days, but I know that in 25 days, when I stick to my plan, mm -hmm. there is delicious ice cream waiting for me. It looks so good. Really good. It was a good purchase, baby. Thank you. That's gonna be today's vlog. Let us know if you have one of these Ninja Creamies. This is the first Ninja product we own. Yeah. Because we have Vitamix. I've never bought Ninja products. Very impressed. I'm very, very impressed. Took a little bit of like figuring it out. Yeah, the, the instructions aren't the greatest. I definitely would go buy more bowls. As far as I know, you can only buy the bowls right now directly from Ninja, but when you register, they give you a coupon. They also give you a coupon if you register your email address. But I would go and get some if you're gonna buy this machine because you're gonna wanna have more than three. Because again, you have to wait 24 hours. So you wanna freeze it and be able to grab and go and literally, it was a minute and a half to mix it, and then we did two of the extra respins, probably because we used the butter. If you just would have used heavy cream, it, it wouldn't need it. Well, and we weren't hitting respin, we were hitting mix in, mm -hmm. but we don't, you didn't want to mix in. Respin no. spins it harder. We gotta try all these different settings. Yeah, we do. Super, super impressed. Let us know if you have one. If you like seeing videos like this, take a look at some of the videos that we have linked right over here. Also, make sure you take a look at our most recent video, which I'm gonna put right over there. Well, either you head this way or you head this way, don't forget to head this way. Subscribe to our channel and click the little bell icon and that way every single time we taste something delicious, you'll be alerted to it. Till next time. Bye. Bye.